You know, you spoke about the amazing news that there are no serious injuries, but there are victims. It appears that in many of these kinds of disasters, the mobile homes are hit the hardest. Take a look at this one. Inside this mobile home at 1030 this morning was a woman in her 40s and her eight-year-old niece. She didn't think she was going to make it. And when she described to us what she went through, you can help to understand what these people are going through. Take a listen. Bridget, when you realized what was happening, did you think that you may never get out? Yeah. It's a very scary thing. Because the only thing I could think of was the house landing on its side and the door would be up in the air and there would be no way out at all because we'd be on the ground. And the only other door we have is the back door right here. As you can see, if this had fallen, we wouldn't have been able to get out at all. As you look at your home right now, what goes through your mind? I'm a homeless. And there are others in this park who are also devastated. The grandparents of the manager here said that their home was extremely damaged. They are not here at this moment. We often see, as I mentioned, the terrible destruction that's done in these mobile home parks, and this is one of them. With the exception of the home that caught on fire as a result of a hot water heater, uh, this is the most seriously damaged home that we have been able to find. I can tell you I spoke to the CEO of the hospital here. He said that he re did receive a number of people who came in with, with scrapes, some he called serious injuries, uh, certainly not life-threatening, but injuries uh, such as bleeding and so forth, which they were able to take care of. So when you think about the magnitude of this earthquake, it, it is a miracle that there weren't more serious injuries. But then when you look and speak to the true victims, like the woman who lives here, we come to understand the toll an earthquake can take. Let's go back to you.